Hi, I'm Shelley LeVette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you a Teddy Graham graphing activity. This is really fun for introducing basic math skills. Graphing can be used for a lot of different purposes, but for this we're going to be doing just counting and deciding which one has the most. And for this you'll need 11 by 14 inch poster board size. You can either buy the giant poster board size and cut that down, or they sell these in packets of five at Walmart, Target, anywhere they sell the regular size poster board. You'll need these patterns. These are on my website, childcareland.com, underneath the video section. And up here it says, which Teddy Graham do you like the best? And I put that on first. Then I took a ruler and draw, drew a line down. So I drew two lines so I'd have three columns. And you try to make them as even as possible, but this column's a little bit bigger. Um, that doesn't matter to children. You just want to have three separate columns. And then in each column, I glued a different kind of Teddy Graham. This one was chocolate chip, this is chocolate, and this is cinnamon, and then I labeled those underneath the Teddy Grahams. And then what would happen is each child gets a cup, and there's um, three different kinds of Teddy Grahams in here. I usually put two of each kind. The children don't have to eat those, or eat, you know, they just need to taste each one, and then decide which one they like the best. And there's several ways of marking for children to mark how they, um, which one they would vote for, which one they like the best. And here is just an example of the stickers. These are just round garage sale stickers where each child uh, picked the one they like and put the sticker on. You could also use maybe a paint dauber, these little sponge tip ones, kind of like the bingo markers. You could have children just make an X. For a little bit older children, they could write their name in the column of the one that they like the best. And once that's done, once everyone has tasted their Teddy Grahams and um, decide which one they like, then we'd all get together and then we count together how many were in each each row. So chocolate got one, two, three, four, chocolate chip got three, and cinnamon got one. So then you would have the children try to decipher which which Teddy Graham got the most votes or people like the best. And then again they would go based on how many was in each column and in, in this case it was the chocolate Teddy Grahams. So again, it's, graphing is really great for um, building math skills, and this was a fun activity because children got to taste the Teddy Grahams. For Teddy Graham Graphing, I'm Shelley Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.